So I wanted to catch up and share a few clips with you of a few events that took place over the last few weeks, probably months. Some of the clips are pretty old, like the clip you're looking at right now was an event for the senior class that my son's high school hosted. It was a team building event and then as a surprise, they had all the parents welcome the kids back. It was super emotional and a really fun time, so I wanted to share that. And then also another event we did was my daughter won a free ticket to the amusement park for her involvement in a math league club. So she got a free ticket. She didn't want to go alone, so I was going to take her brothers with her. So I ended up taking her little brother, my youngest, because my other son, the 10-year-old, was sick that day. So we just kind of went to the amusement park, kind of like a an interesting day out. I usually only go to the amusement park with the kids for a special occasion like New Year's Eve or for a birthday party. But going on a Saturday, just a random Saturday, was super fun, super fun. And then I also had the privilege of being a judge at my son's high school spelling bee. And it was super special for me this time around. I'd been a judge before on previous occasions, but on this particular occasion, my son was also participating in the spelling bee for the very first time. And he wanted to do that because he's a senior, he's gonna be graduating, so he kinda of wanted to go out with a bang. And that was a really, really fun day. I really enjoyed that as well. Then I had a couple of my friends over. We try to get together a couple times a year we try to push to see if we can get together maybe once a month. It doesn't always happen, but yeah, we had like a little coffee date. I baked some muffins and I made sandwiches and I also made banana bread and then my friend brought the other treats and desserts and it was just a really nice afternoon to spend with my friends. And then of course, we just recently celebrated Father's Day. Now for Father's Day this year, my husband did not want to do anything. He just kind of wanted the day to himself to kind of relax and chill, like a day off, right? So because it's his day, he got his wish. We did absolutely nothing for Father's Day. But I wanted to share what my five-year-old made for his dad in kindergarten. So he got him this super cute jar filled with treats, and then he made him this really cute card. and. If your Spanish is rusty, I will translate. It says, Dad, I love you with all my heart. And that's where that little heart comes from, the little heart that he cut out. And then inside the card, it was his handprint. And then it says, with a big hug. And that was something that he drew. It's so cute. The fact that my five-year-old is writing and drawing now just warms my heart. And my husband, absolutely loved this card hey guys so it's thursday and it's raining because it's costa rica we're in winter but i wanted to hop on real quick and do a face-to-face -face chit chat sort of update and let you guys know what we have planned so it is june 20th and next week is the last week of school for the kids before they get out for their uh, winter break, like mid-year vacation sort of thing. They get two weeks off, which we're super excited about. And whenever the kids have vacation from school, we try to do a little family vacation and we go to the beach. So we have a beach vacation planned this year. Again, I'm so excited. And it's super exciting because my sister's coming to visit me for two weeks, my baby nephew. So I am very, very excited about that. Just to give you a little bit of info on where we're going. So I was talking to my sister a couple weeks ago and I said to her, man, you know, I would love to take you to the other side of Costa Rica that you haven't been to before. I'd love to take you to Samara, which is one of our favorite beach destinations. And it's one of the places that we love to go on vacation. And she'd never been because I really wanted to also make sure that she went to a beach town that she was familiar with, which is Puerto Viejo. We love Puerto Viejo. We go there whenever we can. 
And she said, well, let's do both. And I said, girl, you got that kind of money? So we're going to split the cost of both beach vacations. So she'll pay for one vacation, just the hotel. And then we'll pay for the other vacation. But I'm so excited. I am so excited. So when she comes next week, I believe she's coming Friday or Saturday, we leave to Puerto Viejo on Sunday. We're going for two nights and three days, and that should be a blast. And we're staying at this place called Casa Vikingo. Booked it on booking. It was super easy. I'm really hoping that it's a nice place. I read the reviews. Nobody really had anything bad to say about the hotel. The one thing that's kind of a negative and a drawback, which I didn't realize until after I booked it, was that it doesn't have AC. They do provide you with fans in all the rooms, but you know, when you go to the beach, it's hot. It's hot over there. But I usually get super cold at night when the ac is on so i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go my sister said no just leave the booking we'll go there we'll check it out we'll see what it's like um hopefully it's not too hot because like i said costa rica is in winter season right now which basically just means it rains a lot it doesn't mean that it gets like hella cold but we will we'll see i didn't want to like cancel the booking because it was very affordable they have a super nice pool and it's only like i want to say two a mile or so a mile or so from from the center of town so i don't know and then everywhere else like because we booked so far in advance we got like a good price now if i cancel the booking and try to book somewhere else we'd be paying a lot more and i don't know if it's worth it so we'll see i i looked it up and i'm super excited to go and check it out i'm not fancy we don't get fancy when it comes to like where we stay as long as the place is nice like decent decent bathrooms clean you know we're we're good we we booked that and then we're gonna come back and kind of chill for a little bit hopefully we'll be able to go to a, a couple of fun places while the kids are on vacation with my sister and the baby like to the museum to the mall and then we're gonna go to the next beach we're gonna go to Sa Samara Samara Beach and we're gonna go there for three nights and four days and this is gonna be our big vacation because my oldest son will be coming and we invited two of his best friends to come along with us as well we're gonna be paying for all of them um, because they're seniors and it's their last year together in the same school so we thought it would be something nice to do for them and we're staying at a place called Entre Dos Aguas. Never stayed there before. Thought we'd do something a little bit different than staying at the place we usually stay at because we're paying for so many people. Entre Dos Aguas was a little bit cheaper, more affordable, on the budget-friendly side. They don't include breakfast, but they do have a kitchen, so you're more than welcome to cook your own breakfast, which I think will work out in our favor in the end. And I'm just super excited. Again, they don't have AC, which I didn't know, but... They have fans so we'll see we'll see i'm super excited so i just wanted to hop on real quick and update you guys on all that's been going on i just i'm super excited for our upcoming beach vacations so i'm not going to show everything i bought today because i did get some grocery type items snacks for the kids and some things to make for dinner but i'm not going to show that because i've been grocery shopping throughout the week like I've been running into the supermarket a couple of times a week and picking things up for the last couple of weeks and I haven't filmed those so I'll just wait to share my grocery haul when I do my big grocery shopping but I wanted to share this stuff within this video because I got some super good deals um, everything I got was either on sale or on clearance well this was regular price but it's really cheap and I like to have this on hand always I spray my carpets with it before I vacuum I spray the bedrooms, I spray the bathrooms. It's the cherry blossom scent and this is the odor control air freshener and this is really, really good. So I had to pick that up just to have on hand. And then everything else was impulse buys because I noticed that everything was on clearance. So this game, I'm not sure how much it usually is, but it was less than a dollar on clearance. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's the spaghetti game. What is this? It's the don't drop the meatballs. And this is 
for four players. So I thought we'd get a new game just to have on hand. And this was 50 cents maybe? Less than 50 cents, 40 cents. I couldn't pass this up, I couldn't say no. This is gonna go on my gift stash. One of these power drill tools playset. I got some underwear because I need some new underwear and these were super cute and they were also on clearance. I'm not going to show that on the video because that's super weird. But yeah, I got three pairs of new underwear. They're all in this bag. And then my husband's cousin, her son's birthday is at the end of this month and we were going to go. But then she changed the date to Sunday and that's the day we're heading to the beach. So we won't be able to make it to the birthday party. I'm so sad because... We always try to make it to all the birthday parties in the family since it's also a neat way to like catch up with family and see everyone because we don't see each other that often. But that's not going to stop me from getting him a gift. And this was on clearance for less than $3, this huge gift. And I'm hoping he likes it. It's this construction toy play set. It says three plus and he's turning three. So... I'm going to wrap that up and I'm going to actually send that off to him for his birthday. And this was on clearance for a ridiculous amount of money. Ten cents? Five cents? It's one of these pool toys since we're heading to the beach, like I mentioned. And the kids love, love spending the majority of their time in the pool when we're at the beach in the hotels. So I thought this would be something fun for them to do. It's a float toy. And then you can skip it on the surface of the pool. So I thought the kids might enjoy that. And then these leggings were also on clearance for less than a dollar. So I went ahead and got a pair because I need, I need a new pair of leggings. I need to get rid of the ones I have because they're too big. And they don't fit very well. So I got some new leggings. And this shirt was also on clearance for like a dollar and change and so I went ahead and picked it up it's not the best quality but I bought it so that I could have something to wear over my swimsuit and stuff while I'm at the beach and then just something to have to wear around the house as well I love the detail on the back and I also like the color so that's everything I got and it was so 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 cheap like including the grocery stuff that I got I spent less than $15 for all of this stuff.